Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this video, I thought we would do something a little bit different, but still related to our tic-tac-toe game. This is also going to be a good video related to future videos that we want to put out based on asset creation. Now the next thing that we want to do inside our tic-tac-toe game is add in some audio source game objects, and we're going to pair the audio files with the on-click of any of the buttons in our game. And so for this video, what I thought we could do is create those audio files that we're going to put into our tic-tac-toe game. And if we do this asset creation right, then we could use this audio file for any of the buttons in all of our games. So to create this audio file, we're going to be using an Adobe product called Audition. So we're going to be using Adobe Audition to create this audio file. You don't have to use Audition. You can use really any free audio recording software. But if you have access to Adobe Audition, it's a wonderful program for recording audio clips. So to start off with, I'm going to create a new file. So I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to select Audio File. We can then give it a name, and we can just call it maybe something like Button Click. So now that we've created a new file, to start recording, all we have to do is click this red circle down in the bottom. That usually means record. And once I click this button, then my microphone is going to start capturing audio. Now I'm going to use three different methods of producing audio, and I'm going to do a number of takes, and then I'll listen through the track to find the best audio clip, and then I'll just crop out that audio clip, and we can save it into our video game. The three methods that I'm going to use are my mouth and my vocals, and I'm also going to use maybe this graphing calculator that makes a clicking sound when you slide the face on and I'm also going to use my mouse I'm just going to click the mouse really close to my microphone and see if that makes a good audio file so let's get started all right so now we're recording and I'm also talking which you can see is being recorded by audition now the first thing that I'm going to do is use my mouth to create a sound that will sound something like a button click which could be something like or and what I'll do is I'll do a number of those takes and then I'll stop it and just cut out all this garbage of me talking right now and we'll have just the good takes and then we can listen through that and pick the one or two that we like the most so here we go I don't know. So that's probably good for now. Next, we can do the calculator. So And that's probably good for the calculator. And now we can use just a mouse click. So I need to make sure that I'm not clicking on anything important. And then I'll just put it next to the microphone and click. Now, I think most of those are gonna sound about the same because the mouse click makes about the same sound every time you click it. So I don't need to do too many takes of that. But let's go ahead and stop this. And then I'm going to put on my headphones and I'll cut out all the garbage and then we can just listen to all the different takes. So that's probably good for now. Next we can do the calculator. And that's probably good for the calculator. And now we can use just a mouse click. So I need to make sure that I'm not clicking. Okay, so I've cut out all the garbage and now let's start at the beginning and just listen carefully to each different audio track. I don't know. Chick. 
All right, so I think the calculator was probably a bad idea. <laughs> I thought, you know, it's sitting right here and it's worth a try. And a lot of times when you hear an audio file in movies or in video games, it's not the actual audio of what's happening in the game or in the movie. If you ever see videos of people making sound effects, then they're always using, you know, things around them like sand or burlap bags to create audio files. So let's just go ahead and delete all the takes with the calculator. I'm going to listen to them one more time. So personally, I think using my mouth, I'm not very good at it. I don't have lots of practice and it doesn't sound the best. And so I'm actually just going to delete all of those. And I think the best sounding click from my mouse is this second to last one right here. So I'm gonna just, you know, delete everything else and focus in just on that click. And now I'm going to listen to this single audio track a couple times. One thing that we could do is we could probably boost the audio a bit. So I'm going to go to effects and then amplitude, amplify, and then over here we can amplify it probably by 5 dB. So I think that sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this into our game. So I'm going to hit Control S, and then I'm going to find the file. So, so here's the file location for our tic-tac-toe game, and I can create a new folder, and we can call this audio. And then let's go inside that folder, and we can name this as a button click. Now I don't think this audio file needs to be a wave because wave files are relatively big. And so let's change this to just an MP3 so that it is a bit compressed. And let's go ahead and hit save and then okay, hit yes. And now when we go back to Unity, you can see that we have a new folder and inside that folder we have our button click audio file. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this video on creating an audio source file for button clicks. I think we did a pretty good job with this audio file and we could probably use this for all the button clicks in any of our games. Now this video won't be included in our tic-tac-toe playlist because this video is based in asset creation, but we will have reference to this video from our tic-tac-toe playlist. And so if you've come to this video from our tic-tac-toe playlist, I recommend that you go back to the video that you came from so that you can continue on creating your tic-tac-toe game. Now make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get regular updates when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>